And uh, so that's me trying to bring a little bit of Ricky into shadow. <laughs> I have a table. <laughs> and I'm very loud. <laughs> this mic still works, right? Because you can still hear me. <laughs> yes, you can. Wow. <laughs> Tu as toujours une bonne raison pour ce qui arrive en fait, et c'est ça qui est bien. Hello. Alors que Lincoln, par exemple, ce qu'il n'avait pas apprécié, c'est que lui, il a été tué, alors que c'était une bonne personne, et qu'il faisait une bonne chose, et il a été tué pour ça, et il trouvait que ça ne présentait pas, à, ça donnait pas un bon exemple de, des gens bien qui font des choses bien. Alors que dans American Gods, ben, parfois, les gens qui viennent quand même, mais pour de bonnes raisons. Est-ce qu'on a une autre question Allez. Okay. Oh, c'est bon. Euh, je pense savoir si vous pouvez choisir un chien pour voir lequel ce serait et je sais pourquoi faire. Ah, euh, les chiens Oui. Si vous aviez un super pouvoir, quel chien serait-il et pourquoi Qu'est-ce que vous feriez avec ça Je vais faire des choses lazy. Comme. 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 Like, I don't know, it would be like, <laughs> yeah, it would be like dumb stuff. Because like, uh, I don't know, yeah, probably. So I, I, I've had this question before, and this, this is where I realized I'm an evil supervillain on the inside. So I would have super speed, but not tell anybody. <laughs> and then become an athlete. <laughs> and only just win every single time but get faster every time, so every time I race, I break a world record. You wouldn't even be using it for good. No, but I would have like <laughs> campaigns and like Nike and Adidas were like, we want to know, and I'd be like, McDonald's, like, you two could run this fast. And like, I would tell nobody, it's like, oh my god, is he going to win the Olympics? <laughs> yes, I will, you just don't know it. And I just wouldn't tell anyone, but I'd be the greatest athlete that ever lived. And I would tell no one that I had superpowers. <laughs> I know it's scary, right? I'm actually horrible and evil on the inside. I'm so low-key, where are my keys? Where are my keys? <laughs> there they are. Because that's the thing I want all the time. I'm always like, I know it's somewhere. I've lost it. <laughs> where is it? <laughs> and you find it in the fridge. I've done. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like it would be that or it would be like... I know, amazing memory. I think, although that's not like a superpower that people like. You have an amazing memory. No, but that's a really amazing memory. Like, like, photographic memory, like, really good. Rain Man. Rain Man. Rainbow Man. Like, I know you, that would be great. Yeah. Est-ce qu'on a une autre question? Yeah. Uh, J'aimerais savoir si vous avez projet à venir. Do you have any upcoming projects? I don't right now. I'm just, I just finished work and I'm so tired. <laughs> like literally, I haven't, I haven't actually stopped. I think when I finally, when Comic Con finally ends, like that is my, the first day I'm like, oh, I have time off now, which is cool, kind of great. Um, but no, I, I'm, I don't have anything lined up. Yeah. No, same. Um, I too finished. Uh, season two of American Gods, and we had a six month press tour around the world. Um, I think it's like my third or fourth time Paris this year. It's been crazy. So, I'm as soon as I get to go home, just want to stay home before we start shooting season three in September. So, you really try and take advantage of yeah. your time at home. It's hard because part of me really wants to nest and just rest and. and and get your bearings back and find like, okay, who am I again? Like, I've spent six months working, like, like now it's me time. <laughs> um, and it, it does take a toll on you, especially those, these kind of shows that shoot so much and so quick and everywhere so else. Dramatic and so dark, it's, it's dark, heavy material. Heavy action, like, it, 
it takes a lot out of you. So when you finally get the chance to stop, it's suddenly you're like, oh, I've completely immobilized. Um, yeah. Thanks, I love you. It's going to look this Hello. What is it? Hello. I'm very scared. I love sharks. 
I'm um, obsessed. I watch every, I watch Shark Week. I watch every movie, every documentary. But if you put me in water, I freak a little bit. Like even a swimming pool, I think maybe there's a shark. Maybe one got through the vents. Like this big shark can fit for a little vent. Um, like, Pardon? Yeah, I listen, I hear, I hear. Mm -hmm. Actually, that sounds like my grandma. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I was scared. She always reminds me of my grandma. Um, so, next year... That is quite funny. See, it's my Netflix special. Um, <laughs> So, that was a question. So next year, um, I'm going to go to, back to South Africa and I'm going to go cage diving uh, with great white sharks because I think you should always try and face your fears. And so that's going to be my biggest bucket list uh, challenge is to swim with great whites. I've swam with sharks before, but they were well fed. They didn't really eat humans. Not that great whites don't do any either. Um, it's more of a mistaken identity, but um, they were little sharks, so I felt like we'd have a good fight. Um, but yeah, great white sharks will be my, my big bucket list after being here with you, Alicia. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I don't, I don't know what's on the bucket list, but as, in terms of like what I want to do, like accomplish, I would love to direct something. That's something on, on my list for sure. That I think I would do well at, and and I would enjoy doing, and I wanted to do it for long time. So yeah, that's probably something I'll do soon. Thank you. Thank you. So that is it for our Q and A. No. Yeah. So if you'd like to do that for our guests.